Hello all you amazing and wonderful people, welcome back to the channel, I stand alone gaming, and today we're going to be playing Satisfactory yet again. So, with that being said, in the last episode, we were over at our oil production, creating a basic oil production. And in the last episode, I talked about handcrafting for the expanded power infrastructure. Which I ended up doing, I made a manufacturer that does the heavy modular frames, and I handcrafted some computers. So, go ahead and launch this bad boy up into space. And as I mentioned, apparently Season 7 came out, and I now have access to blueprints. I'm pretty sure I do not have the, uh, uh, what is it called, the experimental version? Pretty sure I don't have that, so they must have released it at some point. But we're going to go ahead and check that out. However, I don't think we're going to do it in this episode, because another thing I unlocked fairly recently was the radio towers. So we come over here to Caterium and I believe it was over here somewhere. Oh, actually it was in Quartz. Come all the way to the bottom and radar technology. So what that allows us to do is find hard drives and stuff like that. So we're going to be doing, uh, building our power infrastructure. We're going to go ahead and start that. And then we're going to be looking for Hard drives. Uh, reason being is we're at a point where a lot of alternative recipes will help us out really much or a lot. Um, so we're going to go ahead and do that. So I'm going to go grab all the materials that we need for our power. So we're going to make eight of the fuel generators. And uh, we should have everything except for the supercomputers or the, yeah, super supercomputer or a regular computer anyway we should have everything have everything but the computers so i'll have to handcraft 40 of those not a super huge deal and it can be a pain but we have everything else so we're gonna go ahead and craft those we're gonna go put those with our fuel and i will see you guys momentarily all right we are back at our oil production and we're going to go ahead and flush this segment we're gonna go ahead and take these pipes off So, let's get rid of this, get rid of that, and let's draw this out. Like so. Mm -hmm. Pull it out a little bit like this. Preferably on a <laughs> straight angle. OCD kicking in. Drop that there, and we can go ahead and get rid of all of these fluid buffers. Now you can go ahead and put the large buffers in, uh, in between this stage and the fuel generation stage. Um, but we got it so quick that it wasn't such a big deal that we needed to make those. So let's go ahead, get rid of these guys, and we will put in the. generators so go ahead and sway line it up a little bit and we'll put one there two three and four One, all the way out here, two, three, and four. So if we go ahead and click on these, it doesn't tell us our fuel mm -hmm. just yet, but let's go ahead and drop some of these splitters.
going to replace these. They're just one out too far. So now they are equal distance away. And there we go. So now all we have to do is place in our pipes. So, have this pipe come out. Fix this pipe. connect them. Now these guys should be filling all the fuel over here. Let's go look at the generators. And they only take 12 fuel per minute. So we have 8. Alright, so if we hit N here, we got 12 times 8, 96. And we're making a total of 100 fuel. So that leftover 4 is going to be left over here. The last of the fuel for this is going to be for four pieces mm -hmm. per minute. Let's go ahead and do that. Change that over. Now we're only getting four per minute. We're only using four, four fuel per minute. We already have a very nice storage of fuel. So I'm not super worried about having such a small income. Plus, I'm sure in the future we'll be making another oil production. But for now, this mm -hmm. is what we're working with. It's our basic production. All we got to do is transfer this over to our packager here. And we should be good to go. Gonna take some time for the fuel to get over here has to go through all the generators first once those start filling up the leftover fuel will eventually get left over here so now we should be producing quite a bit of uh, power if everything is working however we have to still connect this to power lines so we could go ahead and do Power lines right along the pipe here. Just run this down. Put all these guys up. And we are making more power. So let's go ahead and look at our power now. We should be making 3,600 as we are. Very nice, very nice. Let's go ahead and work on building a radio tower. So if we go over here, I think it's to organization. We got radar tower. We're going to focus on trying to build one of these and placing it in our base somewhere and seeing if we have any leftover hard drives. So we're going to go ahead and do that. Find any hard drives in our area. Go ahead and grab those hard drives and I'll see you guys in a second. All right, people, we are back. We have the materials to craft two radar towers. So I'm going to go ahead and craft one right here. All we have to do is power it up. And we can do that right here. Now we should be able to open a map. And it should tell us all the locations in the area. If I don't kill myself first.
So if we click on the radar tower, it tells us there are five hard drives in the area. However, I thought that I went and told you exactly where they'd be located. Um, unfortunately, it does not seem to be the case. Hmm. Maybe I need to couple this with the... Hold on. Let me check real quick. Maybe I need to couple it with the... I think it's the object scanner. Right here. We need some screws. I'm gonna go grab some screws and I'll be right back and see if that'll work with the radar tower. Alright, so... Uh, turns out we have to watch or look for him manually, which is not a big deal. I mean, I was going to go hunting for him anyway. I just thought maybe there would be an easier way to find them, uh, without cheating on the website that everyone doesn't speak of. But that being said, we're going to go ahead and hunt for some. So we're going to leave this radar tower here for now. Uh, everything in this area we can hunt for. So there's five in this area So we can just go around with this guy and see if we can find one. So... Let's get started, and I'll cut to where I can find them. All right, so it wasn't long, and we found one already. So we're just going to go ahead and skip to where we open the doors, grab all the hard drives, and I will see you guys as soon as we're done farming some hard drives. All right, and we are back. So I only showed off uh, a small sliver of the actual farming that I did do. Um, I spent hours looking for slugs and um, hard drives. Um, granted, I did get a bunch of slugs, and I got a decent amount of hard drives. So we did pretty good. But if you could appreciate the fact that I didn't waste all of your time showing all of the farming that I did, please leave a like. <laughs> but with that being said... We got a bunch of stuff here. We got probably roughly around, uh, if we add those up, it'd be about 99 uh, power shards. And we have nine hard drives. So let's go ahead and pop one of these hard drives in. We're going to go through and uh, probably do them all. So I'm probably going to go through and do those quickly. And by quickly, I mean there's nine of them. It's going to take me 90 minutes to do all of them. But... For you guys, it's going to look like now. <laughs> All right, so this is our first hard drive, and we could get 
looking for better vertical transport. Pure iron ignite, which would be nice. Um, we have a refinery now. We could go ahead and do that, and all we need, would need was water, and it increases your iron output. So, could do that. You only take 7 to 13, so you're almost getting double the amount of iron you would get per ore. Uh, we're not going to do that just yet, I don't think. Mainly because I want the inventory slots, is what I'm thinking. Um, we don't really need the smart plating as of right now. Uh, we might need that in a future build or something like that. Hold on, let me go double check and see what these parts are for. So we got versatile framework. All right, so let's go to versatile framework. And we don't need them for that. But I do believe for the modular motors or the motors... I think it was modular. Well, let's go double check. Go over here. Boom. So we do need the smart plating for the modular engine. So we will have to make more of those. But I also have uh, 500 of those. Actually, probably more than 500 of those in a chest somewhere. So. And then we'll need the advanced wiring for the adaptive control unit. So a lot of stuff that we'll have to work on, but we're getting pretty close to working on it because we off screen, I went and did all of the um, simple ones like the gas mask. I went and completed that. I went and completed the jetpack, and I also did pipelines MK2. So the only thing we have left to unlock is the monorail system. And then we'll start working on our base elevator items. So, but with that being said, let's go ahead and take the inventory slots. Mine as well. And let's go ahead and start the next one. So I'll see you guys in about 10 minutes. We go, we're going to do this eight times and we'll see what we get. All right. We are moments away from finding out what our second hard drive will get us. Hopefully it's something good, but you never really know. It's always up to the RNG. So let's go ahead and see what we get. And bink. We get a Caterium circuit board. Actually, that's really good, I think, because currently I think you need a manufacturer for a circuit board. Whereas this, you can use an assembler, as it says right there, and you're still getting circuit boards. So all you need is Caterium and plastic. That's actually really good. You could go ahead and get the copper alloy could do copper and copper wire and oil it looks like for more cable suppose if you really need a high supply of cable i think we're going to go for the caterium circuit board though to be able to produce it in an assembler instead of a manufacturer is pretty nice actually let's go look and see what the circuit board takes maybe i'm un incorrect so let's go ahead and take a look. Go for circuit. Oh, I am incorrect. So currently it takes plastic and copper sheeting, which still isn't bad. However, that one produces 8.75, where this one I believe produces 6 point something, 7.5. So you still do get more circuit boards out of this than you would at the other recipe so i'm gonna go ahead and take this one let's drop in one more and keep it going so i'll see you guys in a little bit all right so we are on hard drive number three and this is our choices so i don't think this one's pretty good i'm pretty sure the standard production rate is five something so that's lower slower if you will might use less materials or whatever but if it's working too slow then it's kind of pointless um, I kind of want to get this just because I have a boatload of biomass and, uh, have nowhere to really put it. So I could use that as like an alternative fuel or we could grab this. Um, I think if we go ahead and look regular packaged fuel is only 40 per minute. So this one will increase our production of package fuel further down the road if 
we can get some oil, which is pretty simple, and packaged water. So definitely doable. I definitely think that's one of the ways we could go. Uh, let's get it and see where it takes us for the future. Let's go ahead and drop in another one, number four. I'll see you guys shortly. Alrighty, hard drive number four. We got fused quick wire. Gives us 90 per minute. We can get pure caterium, which would probably actually help with our caterium. In the long run, we will probably need better caterium, but I think I'm going to go ahead with the pure iron ignits. Uh, as we progress and get further along in the game, we're going to need more and more iron for countless projects. Don't get me wrong, we will need caterium as well, but I feel like we'll need iron first. So we're going to go ahead and grab the pure iron ignit for this one, and we may even build um, a new iron resource coming soon. So let's go ahead and grab this, confirm, put it in the next one, number five, and... Yet again, I'll see you guys soon. All right, so here we are, number five. We get steamed copper sheet. This is copper and water. 22 per minute. I'm pretty sure that is better than what we have now. Go ahead and look. Copper sheet is 10 per minute. So yeah, it's definitely much faster to make them with water. Same thing with concrete here. You can get silica from quartz. And you can get limestone, obviously, from our limestone vein. So let's go ahead and see what that is. Concrete. Granite, we have boatloads of concrete. So we don't really need more. But if you want to make it quicker, 25 per minute, it's definitely a way to go. And here we have high-speed connector. So if we look at the high-speed connector now... you get 3.75 per minute. So this is actually slower, but it uses silica instead of what was the other one? I think it was just regular quartz. Oh, it uses silica instead of the wire. Interesting, but it also takes more circuit boards. So you'll be using more plastic and um, stuff like that for the circuit boards anyway. You use more wire. You just basically don't have to use the cables. So. I kind of think I prefer the cables. So to increase production, we'll need one of these. And I feel like we have plenty of concrete already. And I know a boatload of limestone nodes that I could acquire still. So I'm going to go ahead with the copper sheets. And sometime in the future, we may actually use that. Go ahead and pop in another one. I will see you guys shortly. All right, we are back. We are on number seven. Unfortunately, number six. Um, I don't think I hit record, and that's my fault. But we got a, in, a better circuit board uh, recipe. So that being said, we just we remember this one was pretty crap. Uh, this isn't too bad because this means we wouldn't have to use plastic. So that's actually really good. I think I'm gonna go ahead and take that. Because as of right now, you have to use plastic to make these. And we could do bio coal. Yeah, I think I'm going to go ahead and do this one. I do want bio coal eventually, but it's not like super important. So we're going to go ahead and grab this uh, coated iron canister. And this way we don't have to use plastic in order to craft those. So very nice, very nice. And let's go ahead and put in number eight. And I will see you guys shortly. All right, so we are on the last one here. Or uh, no, we have one more to go after this. So we go to oscillators. Ooh. Let's see, oscillator. Our current production is one per minute so this is a little bit better almost two almost double good to know uh this one is that bad one and i think this one's actually really good only thing is you have to smelt the iron before it comes into the foundry and uh, you get 60 per minute but if we look up our current steel steel 
It takes uh, three iron ore and three iron coal, or three coal, yeah, iron coal, jeez. Uh, three coal and three iron ore to craft three, whereas this only gets me 45 per minute. We could greatly increase our production if we melt down the iron first and then have it turned into steel. I think we're going to go ahead and do that because a lot of our stuff is steel now. And we could go ahead and with the extra steel that we're making, make steel casted screws and a bunch of other stuff that could potentially help us in the future. So I think we're going to go for this. Uh, I do want to get this eventually, but we can always find more hard drives later. So let's go ahead and grab this one for now. And we got one more. So let's go ahead and put this in. See you guys in a little bit. All right. So here we are at the last hard drive. And uh, honestly, I'm not a big fan of almost any of these. Uh, so the pattern we have already is one to five for this. But this wants to take away five copper as well for a total of 12. Granted, it gives you 30 per, more per minute, but you're also using more materials. Kind of the same thing over here. You can get water, which I mean, I suppose is free. You can just, as long as you can get one of the uh things that mine the water For some reason i can't think of the name off the top of my head and uh we're all quartz i mean technically you're getting twice the amount more than twice the amount for that however we don't have a huge need for quartz just yet hmm i think we're gonna go with the quartz i don't like the idea of using more materials especially um raw resources we're using six, basically six uh, bars here, whereas the original is only one. And we're still getting 60 per minute. So, I think we're going to go ahead and grab this quartz one. Confirm. And unfortunately, that is our last hard drive. So, I think I am going to go on another expedition, maybe find some more off camera. And we'll come back and check them out our, uh, together. But for now, all right, we now have all the materials for the monorail trail, or uh, yeah, monorail train technology. Let's go ahead and launch this up into space. And if we look, it is our last milestone that we need before we do the space elevator parts. With that being said, we're going to have to do the space elevator parts. Uh, but for the rest of the episode, I think we're going to go ahead and build a hypertube cannon. So anyone that's been in the game for at least a little bit knows that you can make a cannon out of hypertubes. So it's definitely a little bit of a nice thing. Apparently you can put them on the ground now. I didn't know that. Anyway, let's put a support. And I think we need them to be at least one apart this Let's do um every set is one so one two three four five and we'll do six and we'll start here for now and see how that works out for us uh we need to put on an entrance Like so. We need to do power. All right, we'll go ahead and delete that. Let's put a power pole here, right at the front. And we will upgrade this. MK2. We will attach this one. Attach that one. Attach all of these. There we go. And I believe we can actually make this one a little bit different. So let's put in the hyper tubes in the center here. And 
And this one will have come over here and see if it will launch us up. Let's go this way. Click and then launch up. See if that works. Now we have to just power it up. And let's see if it works. It did not. I think this one's too far away. It seemed like we were going pretty quick up until that last one. So let's go ahead and copy this guy. Go. back we have to go just want to go up in the air bud just want to go up in the air oh there we go you can do it that way Let's find out i wonder if they fixed it for um season seven <laughs> that would be my luck honestly but uh let's let's uh add on to it and see how much further we can go so Bring this over, change this MK2, and we will make a few more. Let's see if it helps. This used to be the best way to get around the uh, area, though. So. It would kind of suck if uh, they did away with this, to be honest. Some more of these. Three, four. Connect them all up. There we go. Everything is lit up. And let's see what happens. Oh, they definitely didn't fix it. <laughs> That's amazing. However, we are going to need to add a few more to get back to area over there so i think we're gonna add let's add two more and see how far that gets us and uh, the whole reason i didn't build these earlier is because until you have the jetpack unlocked and can actually use it and maintain it um it kind of doesn't benefit you you'll end up dying but the jetpack will stop you from hitting the ground too hard and passing away so <laughs> Now that we have the jetpack, we have fuel, we have pretty much everything that we need, we can go ahead and give this a shot. So let's go ahead and delete this one. We'll do two more, as I said. One, two, three. There we go. So we did two more sets. Take the hyper tube. Neighbor's loud ass truck. Probably thinks he's cool. And we unlock train cars, so we'll probably be diving into that at some point. Okay, so go ahead and put on the entrances. Up and let's see what happens. I want to be able to make it there by just walking. 
All right, that may be enough. <laughs> I think we can make this work. With the jetpack and everything, look at it. We can get as far as our oil production. We could probably go as far as we want. Oh, geez. Go back, come back. All right, so <laughs> we pretty much have to do the same thing over here and uh, we can make our way back. So uh, our most common place is the uh, building over there. But if we have that right in the middle and we put another hyper cannon over here, it should be all well and dandy. Let's go ahead and copy this down. Put the power pole right here. MK2. And there we go. So this should send us all the way back to our first base. Look at that height, boys. Got some copper right there. Good way to see the area if you need to. And perfect landing. Oh, oh. There we go. Perfect landing. <laughs> so, yeah, you can definitely have some fun with hyper tubes. And uh, people definitely have already. But. <laughs> but with that being said, I think that'll be the end of this episode. So if you enjoyed this video, please leave a like. Or if you learned something please leave a like or if you'd want to see more of satisfactory or the content that i make please subscribe to my channel i would greatly appreciate that but with that being said thank you for your time thank you for watching and i really hope for an autosave i really hope to see you guys in the next video take care